I really started writing uh, when I was around 30 years old and I decided that I was mature enough to start to write, uh, to start to think about certain themes that preoccupies me. And those themes are relations between people in general, but also, and the most important, uh, relations uh, within uh, families. I, I have to add some things that were not there initially uh, to make it more alive, the mm. story. Because if you write only about the facts, it's annoying, it's boring. Let's be honest. You have to put some some uh, some personal touches because the poetry is the most powerful uh, literature form I will say because it's it punches you poetry is is so small uh, it's a small package of of great emotions and if it is written how it is supposed to be wrote it is it is powerful it is it is almost magic uh recently i i translated a book uh um seven functions of language uh <laughs> fonction de, du langage uh, i'm a translator also from french and english and there is a seventh uh function of language it's magical uh it says that um uh with, with language with with words we can change world, world. and so say also Kabbalah, all the Muslim is Islamic mystics say that we can actually change the world with words if they are used correctly. So poetry is, is magic, I think. I mean, I started six years ago to write for, for kids. Um, in fact, I promised my children, I have three, three children, uh, a daughter and two sons. I promised them I will make uh, for each of them one illustrated book for children. So the first one was about a dragon who, who builds uh, a nest in Siberia, in Tunguzia, uh, with all the stuff that kids uh, leave all around their rooms when they are not uh, tidy. Uh, the second one in, is for my daughter, Celine. Uh, it's about uh, Celine and the darkness. Because when she was a little, she was afraid of dark. And in the, with that book, I explained her that uh, dark is nothing to be afraid of. And now I will try to write uh, the third one for my youngest, for Josip. And I will, I will do that, I think, uh, next year because it speaks about uh, 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 Osman Empire. Uh, so it's about 16th century and uh, all the historical changes in, in that period. It speaks also about Islam at that time. And so that a lot of people uh, because of that uh, was uh, not very happy with my topic. And I, who, I, I chose that uh, uh, intentionally, because we don't understand each other. We, we tend to hate everything that is not from our circle of, uh, of culture, or from our cultural circles. And uh, we tend not to understand all those that are different from us. With that novel, I try to, to show people that all the others are in fact just like us. If they do not believe uh, in the God that, uh, that have the same name as ours, they believe in the same God, in fact. And if they do not speak the same language, they st they're still humans. It's hard to understand that there are still people on this planet they, that cannot accept the fact people are humans. So uh, with Ezan, I tried to change the point of view that excludes others if they are not like us. 
I'm much better in French. If this was in French, I would be better, I promise. I enjoy my work. I enjoy, enjoy every book I receive for translation. And it helps me a lot. Because each book is a world for itself. Each book enriches me, brings me uh, not only happiness, but insight. Um, enlarges my, my horizons. I can see more, more clearly and more uh, widely.